Okay, so um, this is it actually on. Uh, the slide means it's connected to the Bluetooth. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Bluetooth headphones, to be honest. Um, I've had to put this, this um, piece of metal and some tape to cover the flashing light because I sometimes have it in bed. Um, and uh, the button really doesn't work very often. So Preston, it should be disconnecting this, um, but it's not. So that should be going blue to say it's off. So it's uh, not the best thing in the world. Um, and then this side is the uh, the tongue tip. Um, and I, uh, unless I buy a new one of these and they to replace them, they are 250 euros or 230 euros. Unless I buy a new one of these, I won't won't tear it apart. But I'm I'm pretty certain that this body has. Um, I, I imagine an IC that is wired up to each one of these pads. Um, and then you've got these buttons to kind of increase and decrease the uh, volume of uh, the sensitivity on the uh, the probes. Uh, same with the volume on the um, the actual headphones. And they, they recommend you use the, the volume here. Um, and none of this remembers when you turn it on and off again. So it's you'd think that it has no memory. Um, the port is interesting here. Um, it actually, ha I don't know what the walking person is, um, but uh, so you've got the the tongue tip icon here, I guess. Um, but this this does actually have uh, data. I connected up to um, basically a, a, a OT, uh, OTG like a. Uh, a USB connection and uh, basically open up the Arduino uh, serial monitor and uh, I can talk to this. Um, it comes back with unrecognized command, but um, I can actually talk to it. My guess is that they do um, updates on those. Okay, so I was just getting on the right screw head uh, for this. Um, I'll fast forward this part. Um, so it's not super interesting inside, but there is one interesting part to it. Uh, so I've just taken the screws off, um, and I'm just going to pop it open for you to see. There you go. Very um, plasticky. So that's what we have inside. And of course, the first thing that jumps out at me is this thing where you've got a SD card sitting right there um, and the SD card when I pop it out I took it out um, and there are four, file, four or five files on there uh, one of them is a WAV file uh, literally you know a WAV file but it's renamed um, one of them is the uh, configuration for this lot and um, there is also, uh, what is there? There's some kind of uh, uh, data file, which I would guess is the uh, configuration for the tongue tip um, to, for timing. So um, the chip here, um, I basically just Googled it. It's like 40 megahertz. A chip with something like 16 timers, which I imagine is all to do with making sure that the audio plays back um, with the kind of electrical probe that's going over the uh, the USB. Um, things of interest on here. I mean, there's lots of little breakout points, which I doubt if they're using. Um, I get, I, I, I'm pretty sure this gets sent back um, in my uh, consultation, and, and they're just going to update this. Whether they pop open this whole thing and actually change the files on there, I don't know. Um, it might be that they can talk directly to it from the um, the USB, um, but we'll see. And I'll as soon as I've got it back, I'll pop it open and take a copy of the files that are on there. Um, it does mean that I can, if I want to, listen to the audio uh, by itself. Um, and yeah, so what's that little little fuse? Um, there's quite a lot going on here. I don't know my electronics that well. Um, 
But yes, yeah, so I guess some bits we can talk to. I guess that's probably the same as the uh, USB, the the Mosi and uh, Miso, I guess. Um, and then the flip side, it's not. Well, I mean, I can open it, but the flip side is basically the um, the Bluetooth. Um, that's all. So I'm just taking the screws out for here. The um, the volume knobs fall out, so I have to be careful about making sure they go back in the right way around. Um, but let's just pop this open, pop this out. There we go. Oh yeah, so there's a, a battery which uh, is connected by uh, quite a nice connector actually. Clever little connector. Um, it just kind of sits directly on there, so uh, like that. So, yep. Um, and we got, we've got, I'm guessing that's a, well, that is a crystal. Uh, yeah, I don't know my electronics well enough to be able to properly identify things, but there's all our, our LEDs, our buttons. It's flipping bright, which is annoying again at bedtime. Um, and that's the Bluetooth. Um, the files, I'll, I'll try and see if I can include a screenshot of the, uh, the files that are actually on the SD card. Um, because inside of the files, it also has the name. It has uh, the name of the uh, headphones. Um, so my guess, and I want to have a little play, but my guess is that if I change the file, the, the, file, the config file, um, uh, for the Bluetooth device it's trying to connect to, I should be able to connect it to a better set of headphones. Uh, because I've got noise cancelling headphones fit a lot more comfortably uh, on my ears. I um, know, oh uh, so the Miso and uh, do read these pinouts actually for the Bluetooth. Uh, is it? No, screw it. Like I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, lots of pads, looks pretty. So yeah, that's the insides. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, the last thing, the... Um, uh, the WAV file, I uh, I dug it out and I dropped it into Audacity to have a look at it. Um, and what they have done is they've um, adjusted the left and right side of uh, the, the stereo file. So that it means that um, when I'm listening on the headphones, because I've got a bit of hearing loss in the right side, um, the right side is actually slightly louder than the left side. And I found this out very easily by accident. You're putting these on back to front um, and it sounds completely different. But on the file uh, in here, I can see that the um, the sound has been adjusted. Um, and yeah, so that's really it. Nothing special, nothing hackable particularly. Um, not for the price at least. I, mean, I very much doubt if this is worth the £2,000. Um, it's the service that I'm getting from um, Lanier that I think is actually what I'm paying for, plus the uh, kind of early research. So yeah, that's the uh, the board. Um, like I said, I will post an update in uh, probably another six weeks, just to kind of uh, let anyone who know who's interested how uh, I'm getting on with it. Hopefully uh, a little bit better than it has been. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.